I think the failure of Turkish secularism, which we call laiklik, which is a direct import from France, uh, was not being able to be embraced by a broader you know, segment of society. And the key problem was that it was an authoritarian interpretation of secularism. It didn't leave much room for uh, religious freedom. Uh, secularism came out most uh, impressively you know, with the headscarf ban. The uh, Muslim women who wear the headscarf for traditional religious reasons were banned from universities or getting official jobs. And that was not secularism as it should be. You know, secularism should mean that you should be able to wear, wear whatever you want. But that authoritarian element in secularism, I think, gave secularism a bad name both in Turkey and, and in the broader uh, region. On the other hand, when you define secularism as a more liberal principle, allowing everybody to have their lifestyles and, 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 and worldviews, that, that accepted more, uh, that gained more acceptance in Turkey, even among the uh, conservative religious people.